California, a lot of great things have been invented in a garage. This time, it's something you would never expect. A rhinoceros yeah. built That's out of right. plywood, cardboard, glass, and glue. It is the scale size of a 5,000 pound beast created by Patrick Mahaffey and his crew of artists. This is the idea. Not quite in form, but in surface and texture, and also in color. When it's finished, we hope that as a work of art, it's a piece that they find really intriguing and mysterious. The venture is inspired by the white rhino, which is nearing extinction. There are three remaining northern white rhinos in the world, and um, the chances of their survival are pretty slim. This rhino is 12 and a half feet long, six and a half feet tall, and four and a half feet wide. It is headed for the McNeen Gallery in the San Luis Obispo Museum of Art. So we started with the drawing and then cut it apart, used the pieces for our pattern, and those became the plywood ribs. The end result will be a bit of magic, because assembled, you can't get the rhino in the gallery. So it is built in three pieces. So scale and proportion are really important. The surface will be very important because we want it to look um, a little ancient. Maybe like something that somebody, has, if, instead of walking into the gallery, they stumbled into a tomb or something and they have this strange creature. The amount of detail is overwhelming, achieved and executed by the ingenuity and skill of these artists. Probably 200 years plus experience here if you added all our life experiences together into one group effort. It's kind of cool. It is art on the fly, created in real time. Halfway done, it is discovered the rhino is not long enough. So, two pieces are added, and it is stretched like a limo. The red stripes are the added parts. The original drawing was sort of a compact rhino, a little too compact, and we're going to go to, um, to more sort of a mid-size vehicle. The rhino will be wrapped in cloth, like an Egyptian mummy, done with stuff from second-hand stores. These are um, sheets from a Tascadero. Dyed with tea bags, used to show an ancient look. We're doing this all day long, and they take about 15 minutes to dry. We're prepping it for the trip into the museum. Oh, hang on, a little lower. And now, the magic trick. The rhino is taken into the museum in pieces and assembled. We're calling this pin the tail on the rhino. One, two, three. I think I'm in. Um, yeah, it's pretty big. So now, now is when the art begins. The construction's over, but the art starts and um, it's going to make a huge difference. The end result? Ask these kids. Brock said, the only thing worthwhile in art is the thing you cannot explain. And we want a lot of unexplained things in the room. That will make it more powerful. What we hope is that it, it, our suggestion of what might be in store for the rhino or what seems likely in store for the rhino will move people to do something about it.